Hey, what's happening, guys? Sorry, there were no videos last week. I have been down with bronchitis, pneumonia, and quite sick. So, try as I might, I just couldn't make any videos. But we are back, and I thought since this would be the first video in the new lab, we start with something that we're, we're quite familiar with, multimeters. And this particular multimeter, the ECG, DM850 multimeter is the cheapest meter available on Amazon. It was $5.99. So today, that's what we're going to be having a look at. So it's got data holding backlight, voltage AC DC, perfect for workshop and school DC current, diode continuity resistance six function, there's some of our ranges. All right. Let's open her up here. <coughs> Pardon the cough. <coughs> I'm afraid the cough is going to be with me for a while. All right. here's our meter all right my first impressions oh boy does it smell I mean it really really smells it is light weighs almost nothing it does have a rubberized condom around it. it comes with some super cheapo crappy leads hopefully we'll be able to use our standard probe master leads in it now I know some of you will complain that I'm not using the leads that came with it, but we test every meter here with the same set of leads. That way, any disparity is with the meter and not the leads. All right, so we have a continuity setting down here. Let's see how it does. I don't even hear anything. Oh, there it is. That is so soft, I can hardly hear it. Wow. All right. So let's go voltage. We'll start at two volts. We're using the power supply here today. I don't have my standard with me, but we'll muddle through, right? Right. All right, so I've got it set for one volt on the power supply. It is showing 1.04, which is pretty good. Let's turn it up to 20. And then we'll adjust the power supply voltage to 5. 4.9H, so, you know, it's still showing pretty good. Let's uh, go to 15. It's the least significant digit. It's not it's not a horrible huge deal. It does have a nice backlight though. That's nice. Alright, let's take it up to 200. And then we'll what we'll do is we'll max out the power supply here, which is at 32 volts. Now at 32 volts, we're showing 31.6. So we're a little bit off. We lost that digit there. But you know, what do you expect for a a six dollar multimeter it's not bad not bad at all all right now we have the ac voltage let's take a look here in our little manual okay so it's saying at uh 200 volts we should have a 100 millivolt resolution so i'm going to plug this in to the ac we have an AC strip right here. And I'm expecting to see somewhere around 123 volts if it doesn't blow up. Oh. There we go. 122.8 volts. 122.9. That's about what I expected. Excellent. All right, now it says here it has a 
diode mode down here. See that right there? It says 2K diode mode. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to test the diode. Let's find out. Here is a standard diode. Yeah, it should show me a diode drop. 0.612, that's fine. Let's see what happens if we try it with an LED. Get my fingers to work right. Yeah, it's, I know, it's kind of hard to see, but it lit the LED, but it's not showing anything. So that functionality works out okay. Now up here where it says milliamps, it's showing us a, uh, a capacitor symbol. Now, I didn't think this thing was rated for capacitance. All right, let's see what we got here. DC voltage. DC current. AC voltage. Resistance. Diode. Transistor. Yeah, I, I don't see anything at all on here about capacitors, so I don't know about that. That's that's very interesting. Well, let's take a couple resistance readings and see what we get there. All right, we got it in our handy little stand, and we got our little voltage or uh, resistance thing here. Let's start with uh, something kind of right in the middle. 1K. We'll put that on the 2K mark. And we'll see what we get out of 1K. Once I get these guys on here. Oops, all right, there we go. So 1K. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Sorry. 1K is looking pretty good there. Let's uh, take it down to 7K. What did I do? That's a pain in the butt. Let's try it like this. Oh, I'm out of range. Duh. Sorry about that, guys. Kind of still out of it here. All right, so there's our 7K reading. 6.99. That'd be just fine. Now let's try something a little bit higher. Let's go 1 meg. This will read up to 2 meg, so we'll start with 1. Reading a little low. We're a little low in the one meg range. Let's put it on two megs and see what happens. Come on. It's two megs. Yeah, it's reading really low. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump the camera there. So, here, let me show you again. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. We're on the 2 meg setting there. And it is reading not even a meg. So it's having trouble reading those high resistances. Which, you know, what do you expect out of a $5 meter, right? Let's tear it apart. All right, haven't unpacked everything, so I don't have my iFixit toolkit out and ready to use yet. Sorry, Joey. It'll be out soon. Oh my God, does that stink? Oh, that's horrible. And there's like some kind of, I don't know, slime or something on there. Batteries in there tight. T 
TC Best Any Power. So what are you expecting to see when we get into here? All right, so we've got a sounder, a piezo sounder stuck on the board. We've got a glop top chip. Let's zoom in. And we got some a couple diodes down here. Ain't looking real promising. It looks like some sort of ground going off to the screen there or something. Yeah, there's not much going on here, is there? I hope there's a fuse on the other side of this, but really, for $5.99, I'm really not expecting it. Yeah, there's no fuse. So this 599 meter is not safe. I mean, it's fine for DC work, but absolutely not for any type of mains, household, voltage, you know, anything like that. It's going to offer you no protection whatsoever. And if you make a mistake, you know, it's... It's just going to kill you or blow up in your hands and hurt you quite badly. So, yeah, really can't recommend this $6 cheapest meter from Amazon. But hey, we gave it a look. It's the cheapest one out there. We broke in the new lab. I'm sweating my butt off because I'm still sick, but I'm here for you guys because you guys are always here for me, and I appreciate that. So I'm going to put this back together, and then I'm going to go take some medicine, and I'm going to lay down. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, coming to the new lab. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And a big thanks to you for watching me and supporting the channel. That's it. I'm out. Peace.